Hello, I'm Fred Schneider and you're tuned in to The Weekly Report, a look at news and insight related to programs and services provided by departments of the City of Kansas City, Missouri. To help residents repair their homes or make them more energy efficient this summer, the City provides a variety of repair programs such as the Home Weatherization Program, EnergyWorks KC, and the Emergency Home Repair Program. To learn more about how you can participate, visit either kcmo.org slash home repair or kcmo.org slash EWKC. Children out of school for the summer may want to consider signing up for one or more summer camps with the city. Many of the city's community centers offer affordable day camps that include field trips, sports, arts and crafts, and more. For a schedule of summer enrichment camps, visit kcparks.org and click on Recreation, and then click on Spring Summer Camps. As the mercury begins to climb, please remember that community centers are always an option for escaping the heat. In addition to community centers, we encourage residents to visit local pools and spray grounds. When heat warnings are issued, additional cooling centers are opened and information about these facilities is available at kcmo.org slash heat or you can call the 311 call center for assistance. Now let's check in with some of our city's departments for information and insight. Hi, I'm Janet O'Hagan with Kansas City Convention and Entertainment Facilities. June is a busy month at your city facilities with dance recitals, graduations, sporting events, and conventions taking place. The Educational Testing Service will be in town from May 28th to June 16th. This private organization develops and administers millions of achievement tests each year, including the SAT and Advanced Placement Program exams. The Kansas City Convention Center has been privileged to host ETS for the past five years and looks forward to hosting them in the years to come. More information is available at ETS.org. SkillsUSA returns to Bartle Hall and the Municipal Auditorium from June 24th to the 28th for their annual Leadership and Skills Conference. This event is the largest educational trade show in the nation and more than 15,000 participants are expected. The public is invited and the admission is free to attend the Skills USA competition on Thursday, June 27th. Come watch as students compete in nearly 100 diverse fields, from the culinary arts to the carpentry, from robotics to firefighting. Visit skillsusa.org for more information. To learn more about events taking place at Kansas City Convention and Entertainment Facilities, visit kcconvention.com and click on the upcoming events or call the Convention Center at 816-513-5000. Taking steps to reduce your gas and electric bills is a great way to save on your overall household budget. And for low-income homeowners, the city's weatherization program may make this process even easier. The weatherization program helps people to save money on their utility bills by making energy efficient repairs to the home at no cost to qualified homeowners. The average utility savings is more than $400. Applications are accepted year-round and can be found online at kcmo.org slash housing. Residents of Jackson, Clay, and Platte counties may apply to receive these services, not just Kansas City residents. Eligible applicants will receive an energy audit performed by a city employee to determine where energy is being wasted in their home and the most cost-effective ways to correct these issues. Repairs may include heating and air conditioning, insulation, doors and windows, water heater replacement, or other general repairs. All work carries a one-year warranty and is performed by certified contractors. 
This grant funded program has been sponsored by the city for more than 30 years and has served more than 10,000 households. Imagine a time machine that would allow you to back up 24 hours and let you live the day over. How many murders would be eliminated if a person could reflect on their actions and change their behavior leading up to the split-second decision that ends in taking a life? With so many years as a sergeant of the 1030 Homicide Squad, Sergeant Barb Eckert is keenly aware of how many homicides occur as a result of out-of-control anger. I've seen cases where people have killed someone over, um, they didn't like the way they danced up into the parents who um, can't cope with a situation with their child and end up taking their lives. All of them, if they just taken a moment and thought about it would never have occurred. By the time the homicide unit's involved, it's, it's out of our hands. Um, nobody wins in these situations, from the suspect and their family to the victim's family. Unfortunately, there is no time machine, but there is Community Mediation Center. Diffusing disagreements before they escalate to violence is their specialty. Director Annette Lance Simmons explains some of the many services they provide to the community. People come to us with just the whole gamut of, of things. Um, neighborhood situations, fence line, barking dogs, uh, loud music, lots of those. We do a lot of landlord-tenant mediations where we help them solve the issues that are going on between them and so that people don't become homeless so they can stay in their homes and still live in a safe environment. A lot of family mediations. Um, parents uh, sometimes never married with kids that they're trying to figure out visitation and what's, what's the best for the kids. Um, we go into churches and do mediations. We go into businesses and do mediations. Wherever there's a need for peaceful conflict resolution, we have processes that can help. Four years ago when the Mediation Center in Kansas City, Missouri closed, those calls all started coming to us and there was no financial support for that. So we've had to um, go out and just look for ways to, to stay open and keep doing what we're doing. There have been situations um, that we had the sense that without our involvement it would have escalated and somebody would have gotten hurt. Jason Cooley uh, is an officer that we've had an affiliation with for many years. Um, there are several others uh, around town um, that refer cases to us. Our, um, our hope is that the police officers, the first call, will refer that case to us so we can get involved when it's at a lower level. It, it is so rewarding to see people come in not able to look at each other, um, so mad, they say there's no way around this, this isn't going to work. People say that a lot. At the end of two hours, three hours, whatever it takes, um, often they're going out shaking hands. In one instance, some parents were making play dates for their kids. Um, just sitting across from someone and seeing the human face of that person that you're struggling with uh, has a transforming effect. So it, it's over the top rewarding. Mediation fees are $35, but are on a sliding scale based on need. While located in Independence, over 60% of the people they serve are from Kansas City. I'm Officer Shelley Gaddis. Have a safe week. The wheels on the train go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the train. Hi, this is Heidi Downer with Parks and Recreation, and today we're at Frank Baden Park in the Northland, celebrating the 20th anniversary of the Kansas City Northern Railroad and National Train Day. The conductor on the train says, All aboard! All aboard! All aboard! The conductor on the train goes, All aboard! All through the train! Look at that, Joe! Hey, Maya! 
Oh, don't think he's going to pass. Good shot, sure. wave. Yeah. <laughs> Looking ahead, the Public Improvements Advisory Committee, also called PIAC, is a 13-person committee that collects resident input regarding public improvements and makes recommendations to the Mayor and City Council. PIAC invites residents to attend its neighborhood hearings scheduled throughout June and July. Upcoming hearings will be held Tuesday, June 11th at 6.30 p.m. at Maplewoods Community College and on Thursday, June 13th at 6.30 p.m. at Kansas City North Community Center. For a complete listing of PIAC hearings, please visit kcmo.org slash PIAC. The City's Office of Emergency Management invites neighborhood groups, families, and residents to participate in Community Emergency Response Training, which is also called CERT. CERT classes teach participants to prepare for disasters such as tornadoes or floods. Topics include creating a family disaster plan, assembling an emergency kit, and learning basic survival skills. To register for this class, contact Jennifer Fales at 816-513-8602 or visit kcmo.org oem for more information. For more information about this or any of today's stories, please log on to kcmo.org, scroll to the bottom right-hand corner, and click on the Weekly Report for links. That does it for this edition of the Weekly Report. I'm Fred Schneider. Have a great week.